Hi all out there. Um, some of you m might know about this, but uh, I'm quite sure most of you don't know about this functionality um, when it comes to parallel mode of the SPF 5000ES. These kind of inverters, especially in the in the in the A, what kind of firmware do I have? Let's check this first. In the F4 A27 firmware version, um, I can confirm that these kind of um, inverters have a hot plug functionality, especially when it comes to parallel mode on single phase. Yeah, um, I'm quite sure this doesn't work in a three phase system but uh, in single phase um, it works um, I show you or, or I give you a short demo about that um, at the moment I have a little bit um, changing or changing uh, energy consumption here but um, let's check we have at the moment here 21 and 23 percentage uh, of um, of the power the inverters provide and I show you right now something which could be super super um, interesting for some of you because these we know these inverters have a lot of uh, consumption uh, in low loads yeah so what I'm doing right now I'm switching this this inverter off you can do this also with the host but uh, I'm doing it with the with the slave um, device and I make this right now and all the light you can see here is powered by those inverters and you see immediately when this inverter getting switched off and wait for a few seconds it also shuts down completely and um, let's check the energy consumption this is um, it uses at the moment 0 0.36 amperes and you will see what happen in a few seconds it takes up to 30 seconds I think yeah and while we wait for this this one taking over all the power of the of of the um, consumption of the house of the energy consumption so you see right now it's off and there is really really only a super super small amount of Yeah, current going into the inverter from the batteries at the moment it's night there's no power from the PV yeah but what I wanted to show you is that this inverter takes immediately over the full consumption of the house as soon as this is uh, shut down and the same happens or similar behavior happens when I switch this on again and let's wait for it you see right now in the firmware coming up um, we have a little bit more oh, we have 0 0.35 uh, amperes again consumption and right now it takes a few seconds here it will synchronize with the other inverter and after that it will take half of the load of the main inverter give it a few seconds uh, right now the synchronization happening and right now it's coming back to and it's taking over half of the energy consumption so you some of you might say eh why why are you showing me that this is a i don't know what to do with it i can tell you this can halve your the energy consumption of the grow watts uh, in winter times for several hours a day yeah especially when you don't have a lot of energy coming from the roof within the day um right now each inverter takes maybe i don't know exactly what it takes but um it takes some watts of and it could could be up to two uh, kilowatt hours a day one one of those inverters is using and producing only heat yeah so this what i showed you you can automate that via a relay and um, getting only this this context from this from the switch down there on this relay and for example a super easy automation would be switching it off at uh, 12 
or midnight and switching it on at six o'clock in the morning again before you start using your uh, water heater and washing machines and whatsoever yeah so within the night when you sleep or when some of you might sleep i don't know here in this household it, it is like that uh, we don't have a lot of energy consumption and um, within that time I can get rid of one inverter and the own consumption of the inverter completely. Yeah? And I think this would be a super, super good benefit in the winter times. So um, I did this video also in German. So um, I will give you an update how I did that and um, how it works. But um, I'm quite sure I will do this in the next few weeks. Um, yeah, especially for this inverter, yeah. Maybe with some more complicated or more uh, dedicated automation, not only by time, but also by energy consumption. But I have to check because the problem is if you really use more than five kilowatts um, within the night by um, accident or what, whatsoever happens there, then it might happen that the inverters shut down completely and um, the whole house is without light and anything yeah so um there are some some nice uh, options for that but yeah as i explained i will keep you updated in the future videos so enjoy i hope you enjoyed this video and enjoy uh, your grow watts and your solar power from the roof and um, with that said shut off Bye.